Hello, how the devil? A couple of things to talk about in this video. Firstly, the dark flood zone map footage playing in the background. This is a map that I had set up for the second Frightfield 4 event the other day, but we didn't get around to playing it. Flood zone isn't everyone's cup of tea, I guess, but I usually enjoy games on it, and it seems to suit the transition into the darker environments pretty well. There are some nice illuminated interiors, as well as some well-lit and some not-so-well-lit alleyways. I think ideally, the park at the Chinese end of the map could benefit from additional illumination from the path lights to balance it up with the well-lit car park at the US end. It's also quite fun to use the cover of darkness to duck between the pillars that support the highway overhead. Flashlights and tracer rounds zipping around down there look pretty awesome. I hope they consider it amongst the possible night maps. The second thing I wanted to do was just recap where we're at with the night maps in general. The official Battlelog Twitter account posted Birdu's awesome pictures from the second night event a few days ago, and it was met with the usual questions and confusion in some areas about what they were and where they'd come from by people that weren't aware of the Frightfield 4 events. Frightfield 4, as I've called it, is a community project I'd set up to test night maps with trusted players to actually see and feel how gameplay ran in the dark. The maps, as with Flood Zone you're seeing now, were modified by each player using the BF4 cinematic tools developed by Hattie Watty. Each player had to load in an environmental preset file that I put together so we all saw the same settings in-game. So this was in no way an official DICE event. As of the date of this video, night maps are not currently being tested in CTE, as a few people had assumed, although we do expect to have one or two official maps to play with within the next couple of weeks. They will indeed appear in the CTE first for proper playtesting and, as always with CTE initiatives, it is not guaranteed that any of the tested material will go forward into the vanilla game as DLC. David Serland kindly posted this picture for me the other day after I asked for a cheeky screenshot of the Shanghai map that Tom Wright is working on, but it's important to note that what you can actually see on screen there is not necessarily an accurate reflection of the Shanghai night map that will be presented to players. It's obviously a work in progress. Tom is the senior lighting artist at DICE and he's working on the official night maps project on his own, uh, but having spoken to him I do know that he's pushing for proper nighttime environments and not the blue tinted examples of night maps we've seen in BF3. And again, it all depends on how testing goes in the CTE as to what, if anything, ends up in the retail game. If you look at footage from the Halloween version of the Pearl Market that was in CTE though, you can see the sort of thing that they'll be going for initially. They are aware of the impact that 3D spotting would have on night maps as it currently exists and will most certainly be looking at making changes to reduce its impact. They've also mentioned changes to FLIR and IRNV scopes in the game which need tweaking to balance for night maps and to make them work a little better in general. David Serland has also mentioned in passing that there are indeed other unannounced goodies that will go well with night and dark environments. All in all, it's a pretty exciting proposition and if you've got premium for BF4 and an interest in helping the developers test this and more in-game initiatives, you should definitely look at downloading the CTE client and get stuck in. I suspect the arrival of the Siege of Shanghai night map will fill the CTE servers to capacity. I fully intend to be the first in the server when the patch drops. That's all for now, I think. I still plan on cinematic tools tutorials for setting up night maps to experiment with yourself, but that needs to be done right because it's quite an involved process if you've never used the tools before. Bye for now!